this is Guns, Knives, and Watches. And I just want to kind of make a, a video about my Sega 410 uh, update. And this has been uh, redesigned, re-engineered, da 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 by Arsenal Inc. out in Las Vegas. And my honest to God, living with this weapons platform, using it, and dealing with it, and using it in a in, a, in, a, in an almost combative way, and I'll, I'll get into that here in a minute, uh, against, you know, real, moving, thinking things. This weapons platform, the AK, I'll kind of shift gears here, the AK has always been a vulgar system. From its original inception by Kalashnikov, it's had, you know, those the makings of being a very vulgar, basic, easy to manufacture system. I can't really do this review as Guns Knives Watches because the weapon system itself is so vulgar that Guns Knives and Watches would basic basically take it to a a place that is almost unusable, this there or the other. In my entire life, I don't normally gravitate towards systems that are this vulgar. As I said, the AK-47 is something that I've used in, in multiple calibers. I really enjoy the, the system. I really enjoy this, that, or the other. And it it makes a personal statement because I'm left-handed. The charging handle is over on the correct side for me. It's also on the correct side for right-handed people that, that learn how to use it. This, that, or the other, da 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 Taking this platform and doing it into a 410 is almost over the top as far as, you know, take an absurd system that's used all over the world, the most ubiquitous weapon system on the planet, and we're going to take it basically to a level of absurdity and we're basically going to create the white trash of the gun industry. And that's what the Sega 410 does. It does it with a caliber, the 410, that is almost an ultra level of refinement. If you are a shotgun shooter, you shoot 410, you are, you are accurate, you are able to do all those things with a 410, then your level of understanding is much increased over someone that can do the same thing with a 12 gauge or do something with a 20 gauge. Because you are limited so much by the cartridge itself, you have to understand those limitations. You have to take it to another level, da 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 da. With this Sega 410, we don't have, you know, removable chokes. We don't have this. We don't have that. We don't have anything. So, it's just a very vulgar system. It is, it, it is the white trash of the gun industry. It is not like the Wilson Combat, which is an extremely... Uh, precise, well-fit gun at its price range. Can you get better weapons? Yes, you can. They're going to be more expensive. The Wilson Combat brings something to the actual fold at its price range that gives this weapons platform, and I know I have VZ grips on it, makes it gives it the ability to make a statement. And I have the the extended eight round magazine in it, da 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 da, and this eight round magazine from Wilson Combat's done correctly, unlike some of the other eight rounds. But you know, of the eight rounds, it is more correct. Um, it, but it's just, it's just insane. I picked it up the other day, and and I was having a problem with skunks um, bothering my chickens, so. I basically wanted to deter them because I'm not out just to kill a damn animal because it's taking opportunity to this, that, or the other. In the 410, because of I, I live around other houses and this, that, or the other, and because uh, of the, the proximity of the other houses, is an ideal choice. Of course, it can't be silenced, which kind of sucks. And if I was really going to actually want to shoot the skunk, I would probably pick up a suppressed 22 pistol a mark, one of my marks that are suppressed, or I pick up a, a 1022 that's suppressed, or I want to do this or want to do that. But I grabbed this and I, I went out there, da da da, and I cowboy actioned it. Um, basically, I didn't aim, 
and I just was basically shooting at the ground to try and motivate this skunk to do something different. And of course, the 410 round was perfect because it made me get in close proximity to the skunk, but then I didn't want to get too close to where I could get sprayed and this, that, or the other. So it, it brought some gamesmanship to the whole, you know, encounter. Which, if you're going to actually go after something or go this, that, or the other, even if you're just trying to scare it, there has to be some gamesmanship. There has to be something lost. And that's uh, one thing that I I don't like about some weapons platforms, really long distance weapons platforms. Um, you have the ability to control your adversary, you have the ability to control their movements, you have the ability to dominate them, and they have no ability to interact with you on any way, shape, form, or fashion that's actually meaningful or tangible. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of make this and I, I wish I could do this as, as Guns, Knives, and Watches, but in reality, Guns, Knives, and Watches would fuck it up. You can't... This is not a serious weapons platform, unless you are just in, an enthusiast of the 410. You don't care about not having screwed-in chokes. You this, that, or the other, da da da. You like the vulgarity of the AK. You like something that's very, very, very hard to load, um, just because of the the casing and the higher brass actually makes it easier. Uh, but you know, if you have any shortness of brass here, it makes this thing almost impossible to load very fast. It, it's almost absurd. You have four rounds. You can, of course, buy additional magazines. I use the Ishmash. Um, I'm sure there are better magazines. I'm not going to get into it because this is not a weapons platform that I take seriously. This is going out and just fucking around type deal and just this, that, or the other. If I wanted to really get into a 410, I would definitely choose another one. But just because it's a, you know, for shits and giggles, you have an Ishmash 410, Sega 410, whatever, um, and been customized by someone, Arsenal, put taken back to its AK roots. Um... This is about as good as you're going to get. Is it practical? Is, is there much application for it? Is there this, that, or the other? No. But it it just, you know, it, it just is what it is. It's a very vulgar piece of uh, weapons history that is the white trash of the, of the gun world. And I hate to sit there and say this. Guns, knives, and watches could bring nothing to this argument because the, the absurdity of the weapons platform way out ranks any lunacy that I could bring to this video. But anyway, uh, this is me and I'm just making this video. This is kind of an update and this is kind of my thought processes and this is using the weapons platform and da 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 and ins and outs and da 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 da. It's, in the end of the day it's a novelty piece at best. Um, is it a, a practical weapons platform? No, it's not. But it, if you get into AKs and you this, that, or the other and you wind up and you want to venture out into other things, it would be something to think about. But, in the real world, ah, uh, yeah, no. Uh, even, in, even in the absurd world of hunting, in this, that, or the other, I find no practical application for this weapons system. I find no practical application in home defense. I find no practical application in any way. Um, but, if I went to my safes and I grabbed any weapon, I grabbed this one. I have no idea why. I don't know if Guns, Knives, and Watches is rubbing off on me or not, but this is just the way it is. Um, is it right? Is it wrong? It's, it's like this... Uh, what is this? This is a cheap, deep blue... With a Miyota movement, day date, da 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 da. The vulgarity in here of this watch is is almost extreme. Uh, thousand meters, and of course I've taken it all apart, and it has dual gaskets on the back of it. This, there, or the other. And it's not very expensive, and it, it's just something to beat the hell out of. And this, there, or the other, and and say, does it meet up to a Seiko monster? Uh, I, 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 I can't answer that question either. Um, but it has some features on it, and for entry level getting into watches, it, it it's not a 
good choice, but it's not a terrible choice either. There are other choices that are worse. Uh, would I advise someone to buy the watch? Probably not, no. Uh, I did just because I want to, to deal and understand and just see what someone else is thinking and how someone else executes a thought. But this is Guns, Knives, and Watches and my kind of review thought process years down the road of the Sega 410. Is it a practical application weapon? No. It's an absurdity taken to the level of, of being white trash of the AK world. Uh, because the AK, even though it's vulgar, it's, it's sloppily put together, it's this, that, or the other, it's still an effective weapons platform. This takes all of that away and takes it to the level of insanity. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and have a good one.